let's review the controls for AC arm. First is the horizontal extension that allows you to telescope into the patient 8 inches. Remember to start all cases with this in 50%. That way if the surgeon wants you to pull back in your direction you only have to adjust this as opposed to moving the entire base. The C arm weighs 610 pounds. Next is the L arm extension which allows rainbow movement left or right, used a lot for spine cases. The orbital movement allows you to go lateral of 115 degrees. Remember the tube is on bottom so when going lateral push into the patient to decrease magnification, achieve better detail and lower patient dose. This also allows more room for the surgeon on the other side of the table. The flip-flop is not used as much. This allows 180 to 90 degree of movement. The vertical movement allows to raise the C-arm 18 inches. There is 39.4 inches of SID however there is only 31.5 inches of room between the image intensifier and the tube. Finally the wig-wag movement allows 20 degree of movement from right to left. The exposure switch left button is normal x-ray with KVP of 40 to 120 and 0.2 to 10 MA. The writer I plus is high level fluoro allowing 40 to 120 KVP and 0.2 to 20 MA. This is more dose to the patient but MA is increases to reduce noise and improve image quality. It only allows you to press this for 20 seconds at a time. The C arm control panel has green buttons for image rotation. It's best to put your marker down for an image in the position of the patient to orient prior to patient arrival. If the patient is supine and head is opposite side of the smiley face then press both R's. The blue buttons you can save, change modes and switch the image to the right monitor. This is best used to always keep a AP and lateral on screen at all times. The pink buttons allow collimation in from a left to right straight line or a circle. Don't use this too tight on spine cases as surgeons need to see their tool angles on screen. There is contrast control and alarm reset. When x-raying small body parts turn auto off. So when you get a good image that way it will always get good quality and not depend on where the surgeon has the part. Film you can take a image using up to 75 kvp and 300 mass. Pulse works like a cartoon flipbook, think of each page being an exposure. The more pages the better detail but also more patient dose. When choosing pulse it removes some pages either by 1, 2, 4, or 8. Pulse takes an image every few seconds. Good on dose but you may miss seeing or saving important data when using contrast. Low dose and pulse can be beneficial dose reduction options but it's dependent on the type of procedure you are doing. If you want maximum dose reduction cut both.